Hello, it's Ricardo, and welcome back to Battlestar Galactica Deadlock, the Ghost Fleet Offensive, the second DLC of Season 2, available for general release on the 25th of February 2020, and on consoles a little bit later. I'm working through the campaign. I'm now on Mission 3, Operation Clean Sweep. That takes place over Canceron. Now, I've got two whopping great big battle stars, one Jupiter Mark II, the Galactica, as I'm sure you're familiar with, and also Jupiter Battlestar, the Hecker, which is a traditional Mark I Jupiter that hasn't gone through the refit. Now the Jupiter refits, they've got an extra squadron, you know it, a little bit, a bit more heavily armed, that sort of thing. And I got a missile boat in there, I got a Minotaur in there and a couple of other ships as well. So, Mission 3. So far, I've been quite surprised how challenging it's been, even on commander level. Now I'm jumping in. Let's wait for a briefing. Here's my Janus. Hostiles and friendlies all over the board. Gods, it's a mess out there. Get me Archeron Actual on the line. Here's our briefing. I'm trying, but no one is picking up, sir. Tell Raptor Squadron Alpha to launch and dock with Archeron. They already have their objectives. Sir. If we need to Effectively, there's the Battlestar Galactica Acheron, and um, they've got no communications. Right in the middle of a battle, we've got to send a Raptor team all the way over there to relay the orders and fend off the Cylon threat, which is effectively what's happening. Okay, let's get going then. So, straight off the bat, I've got quite a few different types of ships here. Two you know, adamant class. Quite like those. The battle stars have taken the main part of the work, though. But I want to try and get to yes, the Acheron and get its Vipers and its, its ships launched so it can aid as well and try and move it out of the way. Right, so we're launching all our ships. Action stations, action stations. This is not a drill. Okay, Vipers and Raptors are in the air. All good stuff. And we've got to try and get a Raptor squadron over to the Acheron now and relay those orders. Okay, no problem. None of these Cylon ships have yet revealed themselves, but there's going to be a lot of them. It's going to be a bloody nose, this is. It really is. There's a lot of ships here. I think I'm a bit light on fighter squadrons. So, I'm going to set one of my Viper squadrons to defend the Messenger Raptor all the way over there. I don't want it getting hit. And the rest of the Vipers, they can act as a screen. Now let's click on the Acheron. Yes, sir. Jupiter Class Mark II. What can we do? We can fire missiles, we can launch all squadrons. Let's get their squadrons. Launching alert They've got a sweeper as well. Let's launch all of that. Mine They're launching. Escort priority one, still online. Escort clearance zone is active. Lots of battle strewn Sir, I've been going ships over around. Of briefing data for this operation. If the transponder count is correct, we're looking at triple the number of Cylons than Ministry expected. Archeron walked into a hell of a fight they weren't ready for. Okay, so we've had our update. I'm going to try and move that battle star out of the main firing solution of those Cylon ships over there. There's mines everywhere. This is going to be absolutely messy. Okay, end turn. Yes, sir. Of course, I want to get a flak screen up as well. So with the flak screen, ideally, I want to try and protect that from any more long-range missiles coming in. If I can. I don't want to leave too many of my ships out there on the periphery. Okay. So, so far, Cylons have not revealed themselves, but that's only going to be a matter of time. 
Acheron is moving around now to intercept. Still no update on the radio silence. Okay, the Raptor crew has got over there. Or the Messenger Raptor crew has got over there. Acheron's birds are in the air. We're just waiting for one of those Cylons now to stick its head out. Battlestar Archeron okay. just jumped away. They they ran. The Acheron has jumped After away. We showed up to rescue them. With our Raptor crew still docked in their landing bay. We'll find where they've taken With our, our Viper crew aboard. Here have been dealt Raptor crew aboard. Focus on the job at hand. Clean sweep still needs to be won. Here come the missiles from the ships. Long distance. And if our Raptors and Vipers are going to protect some of our ships and destroy those missiles. We've got them on defense. I'm on it, Commander. Of course, that old Berserk class there. Guns and Vipers, or guns and a Viper squadron. No missile defense. And a Revenant has revealed itself, and we all know how I feel about the Revenant ships. They're a right pain. I hate them. They are a really good adversary. Okay, we're launching missiles from our Adamant class. Right at that Revenant, we're going to focus all our guns directly at it as well. We're going to take that out. And then hopefully swing around and deal with the other of them. Fortunately, there's been some torpedoes fired at the wrong elevation because we changed elevation after they fired them. Gonna get our assault raptor to paint the target. Got it. Fire its short range missiles as well. We're out to take it out. And the raptor is gonna fire its rockets. I've hit, I've hit, I've hit. A Jupiter Battlestar Mark 1, taking a few hits there. Revenant is down. Great. More torpedoes coming in from the rear. I've made a fatal strategic error here. I'm not protecting the rear. I wasn't expecting the Acheron to jump away like that. So you probably guess this is the first time I'm playing this. I'm going to swing some of our ships around. Try and engage the other so say we are. Salons that haven't revealed Mr. themselves and hopefully some of the damaged ships that are in the area will protect us. Let's get some thrusters boosting away. Another Revenant's revealed itself. We're going to focus all our firepower on that. Adamants are taking a pounding. It's turning into a right mess. Or a complete frack up, as they say. Yes, Commander. So I just wish those Cylons would get out of the way. Right. Moving the Jupiters around to get a better firing solution. Still that one Cylon mark has not revealed itself over there. Got it. Fire some short range missiles from the Assault Raptor directly at that Revenant. We just want to take that out. We're going to recall the other Raptor squadron now. Salvo launch ready. Once we fired its rockets. Then we'll get that recalled, get it rearmed, and get it back out there. Is damage. Now the Yanus. That is like... That's hit something really hard. We've lost an Adamant. I don't know what's happened there. Looks like I hit a mine. Yes, sir. A battlestar has been boarded. It's all going horribly wrong. Got it. Good grief. 
They're dropping like flies. At least that Revenant is taking a bit of a pounding. Okay. Moving on. So we're one adamant down. Still got their vipers in the air though, but we have lost their metal missile bank. Arachne. Ships coming from the rear. More missiles coming in. Oh, this is a right mess. System repairs underway. They're taking a right pounding. This is a hard, this is a hard mission, especially for level three, or you know, campaign three. The a, a battle star we thought was going to turn the tide, jump away, but we've got its its fighters in the air, which is a good tactic if you're doing this. Um, but there's mines everywhere. Right, we've taken that out. That's good. The berserk is taking a right pounding as well. Yes, Commander. I'm going to swing that round so we can put the armour at the front directly in harm's way of the Cylons. I'm on it, Commander. And that Cylon ship still has not revealed itself. And we're steaming ahead, steaming towards it. So we're going to focus some fire on some ships. Revenants as well, totally in the way. They're firing missiles like there's no tomorrow. Some are, miss some are missing, some are torpedoes. They're on the wrong elevation, they're missing. Our fighter screen is being decimated. This is tough. All our missiles being launched towards that one particular Arachne. We've lost the Berserk, so we've lost its guns. They're a tough little ship as well. That Jupiter, oh, its armour is wearing away. Let's fire some rockets from our Raptor against that Arachne. And that's a good tactic as well for the Raptors. I mean, everyone thinks, oh, and they forget about them. They've got punchy rockets, but you have to reload. You have to recall. So if your ships have also got their hangar bays offline, that could be a problem. So our sweeper squadron, we're gonna get that on intercept. Confirmed squadron target. We're going to try and whittle down some of these fighter squadrons as well that are in the mix. This is horrendous. More torpedoes coming in. Are they going to miss? Just missed. God for that. More coming in from that shrouded Cylon mark. Just by that blue nebula. So say we all. I'm on it, Commander. Going to move... That ship to intercept, a Revenant, and an Arachne. That's an Adamant. Let's fire some more munitions from the Janus. Oh, this is, this is perhaps the worst game I've ever played. The worst campaign mission, sorry, I've ever played. The game is outstanding. Also, you know, you, you don't realise how much the user interface changes that were made during the last um, iteration. Resurrection that changed the game for the better. That Jupiter's going to go. That Ceres is going to go. I think we've lost the Ju the Jupiter One, the Hacker. I don't even know if we're going to be able to get any missiles out. Let's get some missiles in the air. 
Firing missiles, an entire missile salvo, we can get them off. Our fighters whittled down to virtually nothing when you consider the ships and the amount of firepower we add in there. And it's true, it has gone up a level. Now I'm playing this on Commander. God knows what it's going to be like on Fleet Admiral. But that's it. That's the whole iteration of this this second DLC. It says, you know, the, the people of the 12 colonies believe things are going well. But Atropos, which is the new IL command that uh, took over from Lachesis, is being more terrifyingly precise. And, you know, the colonials are losing. And it's just keeping face. So that Jupiter Mark I has now fallen off the board. It's been destroyed. Oh, it's a baster. Of course it's a baster. What else would it be? And I've got a Janus cruiser. Or Janus cruiser. And the Selene. And the Battlestar Galactic. That's all I have. And our fighters in the air. So I'm going to recall our Raptors. We need every missile firing boat I possibly can get my hands on. We're going to get in close to that base there and we're going to give it the benefit of the big guns. We're going to fire missiles of our own. We're going to take the hits on the left side. Get our squadrons out and get the raptors in, helping us out as well. Assault raptors and traditional raptors. And that's the good thing of the Mark II Jupiter. We need to have day, two utility slots, really. So our missiles are going in. Base stars aren't all that tough. Huge missile battery. The newer bit, battle stars, base stars are. Just as the new Battlestar Mark II can pack a huge punch. But it's about the command points. You can't have much going on if you've got two of those in place. Let's recall that Raptor Squadron. We're going to fire some short range missiles. Still lash it with the guns. We're going to paint the target of that base star with the Assault Raptor, which enhances uh, the hits gives you a, a hit percentage increase. Base star's arm is virtually gone. Hull is whittling down to nothing. It's gone. We can now swing Galactica back around into the fight. Along with our missile boat. Recall our raptors. Get them rearmed. And get back in the fight. More torpedoes coming in as well. So we've got to try and change our elevation so we don't get hit. More missiles firing. Swing Galactica around. We're going to try and pick off those ships that have now extended away from the protection of that one. Shrouded ship. Missiles and torpedoes coming in. Missile boat taking a pound in at the rear. Yes, sir. This is tough. I've lost so many ships. I've never lost so many ships. Let's get some fire control repaired. Yes, sir. Moving the Galactica around, getting rockets fired as well from our from our Raptors. Of course, we've lost one carrier. We can't land that, and that's a shame. We should be able to land additional Raptor squadrons onto re on remaining Battle Stars if there's a slot free to rearm. There's no reason why you shouldn't. Hopefully, that'll come in future iterations of the game and and DLC. Okay, more missiles coming in. Our missile boat is taking a right pounding. Really, the only thing we've got left is the Galactica. 
That's it, our missile boat is gone. It's all down to the Galactica now to keep to keep us in the fight. It's not looking good. We're focusing our fire on that initial arachne. Yes, sir. Launch our squadrons. Again, use their missiles to shore up our own. Arachne, the first initial arachne is going to be down. Firing more mines. Cool. One arachne left. Of course, we've used a raptor squadron there to board them. Degrading them somewhat. Okay. Hopefully the Galactica will be able to take that out and then we can move at best possible speed then towards that shrouded Cylon. Ending turn. Let's see how long it lasts against the Jupiter 2 Battlestar. Missiles coming in all over the place. This hell's down to 35. Down to 7. Just one single Viper out of all our squadrons. And then we've got another bank of 27. Hopefully they'll try and pick off those missiles. We need to get that Arachne taken out of the game. There it goes. One Cylon ship left. Problem is, we're relatively undamaged in the Galactica, and we've still got some Raptor squadrons and assault Raptor squadrons as well, which is good. And we've got some Vipers. Now we're going to swing the Galactica back round and drive it directly at that hidden Cylon ship. Got it. This has been an absolute it, massacre. An absolute massacre. Terrible. Got to make sure we get around those mines as well. Set our existing Viper squadrons to defend the Galactica. Only got four missiles left in its mi missile battery. Not going to pack much of a punch with that. All depending on what's over there. Gives you mind the amount of devastation and what's going on around. There's one hell of a battle. Got it. Make some slight adjustments now. Okay. Ending turn, Galactica steaming towards trouble. The rest of our fleet destroyed. The Acheron got away. Full power to the engines, let's go. Nothing much we can really do. This is going to be a one-on-one -on -one battle with whatever reveals itself over there. I'm kind of guessing it's going to be a Ceratis, probably a base star. Still a Raider squadron in the air, we've only got 16 Mark II Vipers left. And 19 Mark I. We've got our Raptors in the hangars of the Galactica. Getting refueled. Getting rearmed.
Just got to get around those mines. Oh, they could really spoil got our it. day. Focus our vipers, reminding vipers to take out those Cylon Raiders. Oh, I wish they put an engine upgrade on these battle stars with the Jupiter 2 Mark II refit. Launching raptors. Right, let's get our raptors in the air again. It's going to be the final assault. It's a base star. Of course it's a base star. What else could it be? That heavily armed. Right. So far, so good. Yes, sir. Let's get attacking. Our left armor is rough. Our front armor is rough. So it's going to be the right side we present towards the ship. They're out of range. We have to move them a bit closer. We can still paint it, though, I think. Or can't we? No, we're going to have to move it closer. The Raptor can fire rockets, the traditional Raptor. But our short-range missiles, they're exactly that, they're short-range. Missiles from Galactica going out as well. It's our last load of, of our salvo. Hitting the base star, taking its front armor right out. All guns to bear now against that base star. Let's see what the Assault Raptor can do. Let's move it a bit closer. Got it. Let's recall our Raptors, traditional Raptor squadron. Get that rearmed. That base does have a bit of a pounding. Big guns hitting it down. Hull down 55. Come on, Galactica. The big door knocker guns. We might just do this, you know. We might just do it. Firing some short range missiles. This could be it. Yes, we have done it. Thank God for that. I've lost so many ships. I quite don't know what to say. Cleanup crews are preparing the casualty assessment to send back to ministry. Operation Clean Sweep is a success. Technically. Technically is good enough. This is the closest to a break this side of the colonies has seen since the rebellion. And we're supposed to just forget about Archeron running with its tail between its legs, with our people still on board. And they will answer to the Admiralty for their insubordination in due time. We can't just wait for them to reappear with our crew at their leisure. Leave it, Sergeant. We don't deal in problems in which we can't affect an outcome. You want to know futility? Well, that Sergeant's getting a bit of a dressing down as well, isn't it? Dismissed. Right, we've got to view this replay. So I'm going to let the Action replay stage. run. This Thanks for watching. I've been Ricardo. This has been Campaign Mission 3. Red oh. is good to go. I'm exhausted. I'm utterly exhausted. I lost so many Escort ships. We got online. there in the end, though. Thanks for watching. Check out for more videos on the series. Going to go through the campaign. Do some skirmishing Escort as well. Going to go back. through and do um, some resource Take missions. Back. Like and subscribe if you've only done so, and I'll see you soon.
Thank you. 